In this episode, let us explore as to how to write a program to print the duplicate characters present in the input string. This happens to be one of the most frequently asked programming interview questions and let's explore how to write a Java code for it. Let us consider the input string as silly spiders. Well, if you will notice the input string carefully, you would realize that there are many repeated characters. In fact, S is repeated thrice, I is repeated twice, and L is also repeated twice, while all the remaining characters have occurred only once. So, if you will ask me that in the input string, which are the repeated characters? Well, S, I, and L are the repeated characters, and that would be the output that I would expect in as far as this episode's program is concerned. And how do we write the program? Well, again, it is the map data structure which would help us and how? Let's explore. Map is such a data structure which holds the data as the key value pair. In fact, we have three types of maps, the hash map, the linked hash map and the tree map. After all, these are also maps and hence would hold the data as key value pair. But the difference between them is the order in which they hold the data. For example, if my data silly spiders, I place it inside the hash map, this is how it looks. In the linked hash map, this is how it looks. And in the tree map, this is how it looks. And if you will, as a viewer, notice it carefully, the hash map holds the data in some random order. But I should caution my viewers here that indeed the hash map wouldn't hold it in a random order. Rather, it will be making use of a inbuilt hash function to be storing the data. But since I would not be discussing in depth about the hash function, for a programmer, it might appear as though the hash map is holding it in some random sequence. Anyway, when in future I would sometime discuss about hashing in depth, I would speak about the hash function and everything that you need to know to understand what really hashing is all about. But at this point in time, it appears to be in the random order and the linked hash map you can notice will store the data in the same sequence as what it appears in the input string. Whereas in case of the tree map, the data is stored in the ascending order with respect to the key. Well, it could be that these maps have stored the data in different order, but all the three maps are after all giving me the same information. If you would notice the maps carefully, you would realize that my hash map is suggesting that S has occurred thrice. Same is suggested by the linked hash map, same by the tree map. Similarly, the hash map is suggesting that I has occurred twice. And the remaining two are also suggesting me the same thing. And the hash map is also suggesting me that the character L has occurred twice, which is what is being told by the remaining two maps as well. And all the remaining characters have occurred only once. What this goes to show basically is that all the three maps are highlighting to me that S, I and L are the duplicate characters. They are the repeated characters. And I, as a programmer, now have the liberty to use any of the three maps to proceed ahead and I would be making use of the linked hash map and I would proceed ahead. So, this is my data, silly spiders. And now that we have decided to make use of the linked hash map, when I'll place it in the linked hash map, this is how it appears. Well, just in case you have a doubt as to how this data is placed inside this map, I should caution such viewers here that this episode is not an independent episode. You have to watch my episodes 17, 18, 19 and 20 to understand everything about maps and only then should you continue watching this and for those who have already watched those episodes, let us proceed and see that by making use of the linked hash map, how do I get the output? A repeated character or a duplicate character is such a character whose value is greater than one in the map. And if you'll ask me what is the logic, well, all that I have to do is to access the value. And how to access the value? By specifying data.getValue. And all that I have to do as a programmer is to check if in case that value happens to be greater than one. And just in case it's greater than one, it means that that respective key is a repeated one and hence I will print the key. Not just that, 
if you would wish to print the value you can print the value as well well this is the if condition which helps me in identifying as to which is that key which is the duplicate key but you know very well that this condition has to be applied on all the data that is there inside the map which goes to show that i will have to enclose this within a loop and i would not be making use of our traditional for loop or the while loop or the do while rather i would be making use of the for each loop like this yes this is the logic which helps me to travel along the entire length of my linked hash map and each time it checks if the value is greater than one just in case it's greater than one it prints both the key as well as the value for me and that is what is the expected output anyway when i apply this logic on my input string what happens let's check well for the first time when i say data dot get value this is the value that i would get and you can see that that three happens to be greater than one and hence i would enter the if condition and you know what happens inside the if it's going to print both the key as well as the value like that and since i am present inside the loop i would iterate to the next data and the next time when i say data dot get value this is the value that i get well again the value is two and it's greater than one so i will enter the if and the if is going to print the key as well as the value like this after which since i am again in the loop i would iterate again get the value this time as well the value is two two is greater than one i enter the if and print whatever i am supposed to print and then i would again iterate and you can easily notice that there is no other value which is there in the map which is greater than one so never would i again enter the if condition and the control is going to come out of the loop finally and by the time it completes the loop i would have got my output anyway how the complete program looks like let's see i would begin by creating a new string object called silly spiders next using the two char array method i'm going to extract the data and place it inside a uh, array called y and also i would compute its size next i need to create a linked hash map and this is the statement which helps me to create the linked hash map when we create the linked hash map obviously it would be empty and i need to place my data silly spiders into the empty linked hash map and how do i do that this is the piece of code which helps me to do that after all this is what i have discussed in episode 17 anyway after that it is today's logic this is the one you know this for each loop is going to help me to identify the duplicate characters present in the input string and anyway this is the complete program and when i'll execute this is the output so i'm sure you've been able to understand as to how we can print the duplicate characters present in the input string by making use of the map data structure to know more about the string programs and to understand how to write the program to every single problem all that you have to do is to just continue watching this video series thanks for watching let's meet in the next episode